A BrainPass device has injected plastic textures to touch 3,000 mechanoreceptors in each fingertip while tracing the device, stimulating the sensory cortex of the brain by providing a method and apparatus to implement the newly discovered brain plasticity. So let's take a few moments to discuss how plasticity of the brain can assist you on your journey to a healthy mind and a healthy body. Plasticity of the brain is the ability of the human brain to improve and repair, discovered in 1997. Before brain plasticity, the brain was thought to be rigid, unable to repair. But now, with brain plasticity, neurons can repair and create stronger connections between neurons. Not only can the brain learn new tricks, but it also can change its structure and function, even in old age. Another name for brain plasticity is neuroplasticity. A surprising consequence of neuroplasticity is that brain activity associated with a given function can move to a different location in the brain. Research into neuroplasticity of the brain is ongoing. As new findings become available, BrainPass will take advantage of the new research and incorporate findings into new models. You will want to keep updated on the new postings found on BrainPass.com website. Simply put, the concept of neuroplasticity is defined as the way the brain reorganizes itself by forming new connections throughout life and your fingertips will assist in this reorganization. However, until recently, the only recorded use of tactile fingertip movement to stimulate the brain was piano tapping and braille reading for the blind. Now, using brain pass devices, repetitive fingertip movement by tracing textures on brain pass devices can be added to the list. Repetitive tactile fingertip movement provides an apparatus to stimulate the brain like never before. So, let's take a moment to discuss the process of tracing injected plastic textures to stimulate the brain. To begin, first consider Braille. We are all familiar with the power of Braille, a method for the blind to read a book or obtain a college degree by tracing coded dots with one fingertip. But if you are not blind, how can you use the same technology? Now we have the answer in BrainPaths. BrainPaths injected plastic tracing devices having textures similar to Braille, but without the use of Braille codes necessary for a blind person to read, stimulate your brain. Both Braille and BrainPaths fingertip movement touch dense mechanoreceptors under the skin of the fingertip to stimulate the sensory cortex of the brain. Research has determined fingertips provide a superhighway to the brain by indenting into mechanoreceptors in the pad of the fingertip. As textures indent into your fingertips, you are stimulating your brain. Many years ago, when Louis Braille developed his reading program for the blind, he thought the power of his program was the power of his Braille dots. That made sense at that time because dense mechanoreceptors in fingertips would not be determined for decades later. No one was aware of the power of the fingertips. Since the brain was rigid and unable to repair itself, there was no reason to think otherwise. Today, with new discoveries into plasticity of the brain and the ability to track changes in the brain using functional MRIs, we can actually see changes taking place in the brain as we trace textures to touch dense mechanoreceptors located just under the skin of the fingertip. Never before brain pass have networks of textures been available in a device that indent into each fingertip to access 3,000 mechanoreceptors located just under the skin, except for Braille for the blind. BrainPass patent pending device based on this technology brings tactile stimulation to a new level, stimulating the brain like never before. 
BrainPass devices are designed for the user to repeatedly trace paths using one or more fingertips, stimulating the user's brain by accessing many of the 3,000 mechanoreceptors located just under the skin of the fingertip. Tracing BrainPass devices also provides fine motor skill exercises for motor control and dexterity involving small muscles in the fingers and hands needed for writing, grasping, small objects, and fastening clothing. BrainPass is registered by the Federal Food and Drug Administration as a Class I neurological medical device for home use. BrainPass has a patent pending and website, brainpass.com, providing research studies and keeping new innovations available to you at the touch of your fingertips. Now, let's discuss how BrainPass can provide the brain stimulation necessary for plasticity of the brain to stimulate the cortex of the brain. I have with me today two BrainPath models, Masterful Voyage and Lighthearted Spiral. Each BrainPath device has a specific name for easy identification. Both of these BrainPath devices have textures injected into accessible surfaces of the device, as you can see here. BrainPath devices also include 3-inch brain chips that you can keep in your purse, pocket, or on a keychain. If you have a few extra minutes, use your BrainPath device to relax while you stimulate your brain. As new models are developed and released, additional videos will be provided to inform you of the new progressions in the world of BrainPass. Textures are designed to provide a means to touch dense mechanoreceptors located just below the skin of each fingertip, including the thumb. Understanding each fingertip has 3,000 mechanoreceptors, it makes sense that the more mechanoreceptors touched, the greater the stimulation of the sensory cortex of the brain. Looking at your brain pass device, you will see dual contact paths in the shape of a labyrinth, spiral, maze, and other designs. Tracing the dual contact path touches each side of the path with two sides of the fingertip as the user traces the pathway design. Dual contact pathways closely configured Assure textures are closely configured to touch the fingertip repeatedly while tracing the pathways. The greater the skin contact with the textures, the greater the stimulation to the brain. Textures touching the fingertip may be recessed into the base or extend above the base, or a combination of both. Some textured pathway designs have a beginning and ending point, inviting the user to start at the beginning and finish tracing at the end point. Other patterns include a circular pathway outside of another pathway design. The more you trace the textures along the dual contact path, the greater the skin contact with mechanoreceptors in the pad of the fingertip to simultaneously stimulate the brain. You will want to press your finger into the path comfortably as you trace. Follow the pathway, tracing each twist and turn in the path as you move along. The designs engraved into Masterful Voyage and Lighthearted Spiral models allows focusing and concentration while fingertip tracing the device. Focusing and concentrating on the task at hand provides a means to stimulate the brain in and of itself. Probing into the fingertips provides a means to stimulate mechanoreceptors under the skin of the fingertips, as first researched and discovered by Dr. Esther P. Gardner, coding of sensory information. Dr. Gardner discloses mechanoreceptors are activated by strong stimuli, sharp pricking sensations, Pinching the skin with a two-sided probe, such as a tweezer for home use or probe for medical use, produces a strong response to fingertip tracing. BrainPass devices have textures that provide sharp pricking sensations as the textures indent into the user's fingertips. Recess designs provide the two-sided probe while tracing. To demonstrate this probing effect, let's take a minute to trace an area of your brain pass device strongly indenting into the pathway. Now look at your fingertip. 
you can easily see the indentations that will touch the 3000 mechanoreceptors in the fingertip. Look at your fingertip indentations. You can see a pinching of the skin just like the two-sided probe. Research by Dr. Gardner in coding of sensory information that provides strong stimulation to the sensory cortex of the brain while tracing. Now let's look at this chart provided by Dr. Gardner in her research. This chart compares three sensations, probing the fingertip with a blunt object, probing the fingertip with a pin, and probing the fingertip with serrated forceps. As shown in the chart, probing with serrated forceps provides the greatest stimulation. A well-known serrated forcep is a tweezer that you can find in a drugstore. Now take a moment and pinch your fingertip like a tweezer. You can see the indentations into the fingertip and into the 3000 mechanoreceptors in each fingertip. In conclusion, the probing sensation you receive while tracing the brain pass device is the same as the probing sensation of the serrated forceps, the strongest stimulator of the fingertip. Now let's move on to tracing with multiple fingertips. Tracing with multiple fingertips can include two or more fingertips or may include all 10 fingertips. For this discussion, let's use the BrainPass Masterful Voyage tracing board. Watch as I place all 10 fingertips on the BrainPass device, placing the thumbs along this outer edge for comfort. Watch as I turn the device slightly with each trace, moving along the pass. This tracing motion allows a method and apparatus to trace dual contact paths with all 10 fingertips. Tracing with all 10 fingertips is 10 times as powerful as Braille. You can continue tracing the paths for as long as you feel comfortable. Now let's not stop here. There's an alternative method of tracing this device using all 10 fingertips. Just place the device on your lap or on a table. Now place all 10 fingertips on top of the device, arranging each fingertip to touch its own dual contact path side by side on the device. And this includes your thumb. Once your fingers are placed, begin tracing. Now, continue tracing around the flat circular board using all 10 fingertips, each tracing their own dual contact path. You may trace your device for as long as you feel comfortable. Repeated tracing relaxes you, stimulates your brain, and contributes to your overall well-being. This comforting tracing activity should be approached as a relaxing exercise on your journey to well-being, mentally and physically. You can even turn on music or watch TV as you trace. Now, if you're using BrainPass therapeutically, as in a therapeutic program, be sure to consult with your doctor or therapist regarding tracing time for specific therapeutic issues being addressed. Further, if you have pain in your fingers or if you have a medical condition, you should consult with your physician and use the BrainPath exercises under the care of your doctor or therapist. Brain Pass is a safe exercise and can be used by all ages. But be sensible while using Brain Pass and read the research found on BrainPass.com. The Federal Food and Drug Administration has registered Brain Pass as a neurological medical device for home use, but it is always wise to consult with your doctor for questions or concerns you may have. We wish you success in your journey toward a healthy mind and a healthy body. Keep in touch with us on BrainPass.com, as well as on Twitter and Facebook. Share your experiences to assist others in their journey toward wellness and good health. Tracing your BrainPass devices can be in the morning, noon, evening, before bed, waking up, waiting for an appointment, or sitting in a spa. Enjoy your experience and share with others. We are constantly testing our devices and creating new designs to add to our collection of BrainPass devices. Again, BrainPass are neurological medical devices registered and listed by the Federal Food and Drug Administration. BrainPass is new, but Braille has been around for over a century. Repeatedly tracing textures injected into the surface of the device indents 
into your fingertips to touch 3000 mechanoreceptors, providing a super highway to stimulate your brain. Thank you for joining us today and best wishes on your new journey. Be sure to keep in touch with us. Email us at brainpass at gmail.com. Others are waiting to hear your story. Goodbye for now.